So we reviewed a few security cameras on this channel, but the first from this brand. So this is the EasyViz CP1 Pro camera, our security camera by a company called, like I said, EasyViz. Now this is not the only security camera that EasyViz has. You know, you can go check out their website. They've got a whole range of different products, not just security cameras. Uh, in fact, they will be sending me uh, another product to review which I'm quite excited to test out. But the one I have today is the CP1 Pro 1080p camera. Now, I emphasize the 1080p because if you look at their website, they do have another similarly named camera also, the CP Pro, but that one is a 2K camera, slightly higher resolution. Well, not slightly, well, quite quite significantly higher. Now in the box, you get the camera, you get a USB-C cable, which is a pretty good length. So that's great. You also get a mounting plate in case you want to mount the camera on the wall. Now, now, this plate is meant to be drilled uh, or screwed onto the wall. I didn't, I stuck it on the wall just to see how it would look like. Um, what I would say is you might want to really plan it out. Just place the camera where you think you might want to mount it uh, and then look at the angles that you can get before deciding where you want to put it. Now, build quality, I would say it's pretty good. It is quite plasticky, but it is an indoor camera. It's not meant to be you know, mounted outside your house, exposed to the elements that I don't think there is a water and dust uh, resistance rating on it. Uh, but yeah, this is something that you want to put indoors. And as far as indoor cameras are concerned, they are, well, mostly plasticky anyway. That's not to say that it's a cheap feeling plastic. It actually feels all right. Uh, I wouldn't say it feels worse than any other security camera that I've tested that's meant for indoors. What I do really like about it is that it boasts a 360 degree field of vision. Um, well, when I say that, it means that, you know, it rotates all the way. It doesn't actually rotate 360 degrees very close to it. But because the lens has such a wide field of view, if you go around all the way, you can pretty much see everything around the camera. Now, like most indoor cameras, this is something that comes with an app that you can download and you can view the camera uh, on your phone. You don't have to be in the house. You can actually view it outside, uh, which is great and, and pretty par for the course for most security cameras. Now, pairing it to the app was really simple. Setting up was really good. What I will say though, um, this particular camera only supports the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, not the 5 gigahertz, which I found out later on. But then again, most security cameras, especially at this price range, only support 2.4 anyway. But yeah, now apart from viewing the camera remotely, you do have a few options in terms of recording the footage uh, if you ever need it. Um, there is a cloud service that EasyVis provides, uh, which is a paid service on top of what you pay for the camera. Uh, if you want, if you're like me, and I'm not really a fan of having footage of my house on the cloud, they do support local storage as well. Uh, and the nice thing is that, you know, it has a micro SD card slot on it, which supports up to a 512 gigabyte SD card, which is actually a lot more than some of the others, which generally stay around the 256 gigabyte. And on top of that, you also have the option to record directly on the app on your phone, which I love and I do quite a lot, especially when I'm testing on these cameras. Uh, it's really nice because then I don't have to have an SD card in, although that is still pretty good if you know, you're not actually looking for your phone and having to record, but you wanna monitor your home and you wanna monitor movement then yes, you would have something either cloud or SD card. Like I said, I tend to lean towards SD card and I want all the footage to be local. Now, some of the other features also include a night vision mode, which is really nice. It is really crisp, surprisingly for such low light. Um, it does change the video from colored to black and white, but I guess that's okay. I mean, the most important thing is that you can still see everything really clear. Now, another really neat feature is loud noise detection. So if you do enable that on the app, uh, you know, if if the, the camera is just monitoring something and suddenly there's a loud noise, it starts recording, which really help, really useful. It also has an auto tracking feature, which is not just for security purposes. Like for me, when I put that on, or when I tested out this camera, it, it actually coincided with uh, me and my wife adopting a dog. And so we, we have a dog, his name is Nova, he's the best. But yeah, it's also a great way, you know, when I'm in the office and I miss my dog, or at night if I'm asleep and I hear something and I'm wondering what he's doing, um, I can actually use that to track the dog. But it also has an auto tracking feature. If I enable it, it will recognize something that's moving a person and it will follow it pretty well. And I would have to say, it actually does a pretty good job. It's pretty reliable. So far, no issues with these features whatsoever. Now, another really nice touch is a two-way calling feature. Now, a lot of cameras, you can sort of use the app, you know, and speak into the camera. The camera does have a microphone and a speaker built in and I can speak to whoever I want to. 
um, you know, in, in the house where the camera is. But this one is two-way. That means that someone in the house can actually tap the camera when you see that phone icon. You can tap it and it will ring me, which is really nice. It can be really useful in an emergency. Now, like I said, this is a 1080p camera uh, with a two megapixel uh, camera sensor, which sounds low, two megapixels. We know we your phones now with many, many megapixels and all that. But for all intents and purposes, I think it does a pretty good job. The 1080p footage is good and par for the course for security cameras. It doesn't need to be super sharp. Uh, in terms of being good enough to pick out people or intruders and the sort of thing, it definitely is good enough. And you also have to remember, you don't want video footage that is too high a resolution because if you put in your SD card and it's not the highest, maybe let's say you bought one to eight and all that, uh, one to eight gigabyte, it, it will fill up pretty quickly, you know? And so if you had a higher resolution camera, it would actually cost you more to store the footage. All right, so let's talk about the price. So you can get the EasyViz camera on Amazon. I looked at it on Amazon Canada. I'm sure you can get it where you're at. Uh, but in Amazon Canada, it comes in at about 55 Canadian dollars. And that in itself, I think with all the features, is already a bargain if you think about the security implementations of having this there and how much more secure it could potentially make your house, it is an absolute bargain. But if you go to the Amazon website right now, they actually have a 30% off coupon that you can add to it. And I think it brings it down to like 38 Canadian, which is a no brainer. So honestly, if you're looking for a camera and all these features are what you're looking for, you do one, uh, a PTZ security camera, it pans left and right, it also goes up and down like I mentioned, uh, you know, and it does all these features, has all these added features inside like night vision, auto tracking, loud noise detection, all for potentially 38 Canadian? Why wouldn't you? All right, so that about wraps up my review of the EZV CP1 Pro camera, um, the 1080p version. Now, if you like this video, you know what to do, and I would love it if you were subscribed to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications on our next video. I'm JP, and I'll see you real soon.